Bernie's first play in pro football was a 40-yard touchdown run. What else would you expect from a player who is known simply as the king? Number 39 was a marvel in the open field and a brilliant kick returner. McElhenney's style relied on moves rather than muscle and made him one of the most exciting players of his time. The number four most elusive runner of all time, Hugh McElhenney. Four. He was my mom's favorite player, still is to this day. And he had a long stride and breakaway speed. He had style. In the 1950s and early 60s, Hugh McElhenney was to pro football what Elvis Presley was to rock and roll. Both were known as the king, and each knew how to shake, rattle, and roll. Hugh McElhenney remained atop his throne as the king of football's broken field runner. Watching him run the football was almost like a kid's game because he'd get the ball in the open field and there was just no telling where he was going to go with it. He probably had more 120-yard runs that only measured 40 yards than anybody in NFL history. He was sort of a hero among all of us because he looked like what a pro football player should look like. He would walk in a restaurant, they would say, there's the king. He was Barry Sanders, Gail Sayers, all kind of wrapped into one and at the same time himself. Really great, elusive running backs, but also had that great north-south instinct too. The first time our number four most elusive runner touched the ball, it was apparent he would be special. I'm standing on the sideline. I haven't had a playbook. I don't know. Frankie Albert calls a timeout, comes over the sideline, tells Buckshaw, put McElhenney in. And Buck says he didn't know what the play. That's okay. We get in the huddle. Albert gets down on the ground and starts drawing the play. I swing out. He pitches the ball to me and goes 40 yards for a touchdown. My very first play. It's Hurricane Hugh McElhenney of the 49ers cutting a pass as the 49ers jump away to a 7 0 lead. McElhenney played in what became known as the Million Dollar Backfield in San Francisco. Four Hall of Famers. They had Wyatt Tittle, a quarterback. They had McElhenney. They had Joe the Jet Perry. And they had John Henry Johnson. And the famous line Johnson had about it was, I'm still looking for the million. <laughs> In the early 50s, a lot of players went both ways, played offense and defense, and Hugh was just on offense. And originally, he was criticized as a specialist who couldn't do anything but run. But to those critics, his head coach, Red Strader, said, was Chopin criticized because he could only play the piano? When Hugh McElhenney retired, uh, they gave him a plaque. And the inscription read, wouldn't football be a beautiful game if everyone played it like Hugh McElhenney? That is a fitting epitaph for one of the greatest elusive runners of all time.